Right, today I've come down to Froward Point to do a bit of fine art landscape photography. It's something that I've kind of ended up with a few images of that I'd consider fine art over the years, but I've never really kind of got out to in the aim of trying to do it. Um, I've come down to the coast here. You can't see, but there's a rock right in the background here, um, which I'm trying to going to try and get some really long exposures of the water around it. The sky is quite overcast or kind of quite hazy today as well. So I'm hoping that's going to work with a fine art image. Um, so before I get on with some of the settings and take some of the shots, um, what is fine art photography? So um, it's kind of photography where you're using a lot of your available methods or controls to try and get an image that is kind of slightly different to how you'd normally see it on a camera or how you normally see it for your eyes. So if you were to think of a scene that you just shot a picture of on the back of the camera that was close to how your eyesight saw it, that probably wouldn't be considered fine art. It's something where you've got to be controlling certain parts of the image, mainly the light, to try and add emphasis to certain parts of that image and kind of make it stand out from a lot of the rest. It's kind of a way you've got to influence the image a bit more by putting your own um, artistic creativity over it. So today um, there's not much light hitting any of these rocks and that can be quite a nice thing to use for fine art photography. We can normally use a lot of light on subjects to lighten them up, um, creating a, a kind of contrast between the light and dark areas to give it that punch. I can't do that today. So what I'm going to be using instead, I'm going to be using some really long exposures as well as trying to get a bit of movement in this sky, a bit of kind of softness with the cloud. It's quite soft anyway, and it's a very calm day wind-wise today, so there's not going to be much movement. So it's going to be a bit tricky to get that in there. But I'm looking for a really smooth shot with a bit of interest in it, a bit of foreground. Fine art photography doesn't have to have a massive foreground interest. It's more about simplicity and the differences in the light and the contrasts. And things like that black and white shots tend to work really well with it and it's probably what I'm going to be doing today to be honest so looking at the camera the settings I'm going to be shooting at I've overloaded this thing to the brim with um, ND filters I only actually have one square ND filter um, or solid ND filter I do have round ones I could stack as well on top but it's going to be a bit annoying me having to do stacking and square filters and stuff like that so what I've done is I've put the 10 stop Lee um, ND filter on. I then put a 0 0.9 or a 3 stop hard grad filter pulled all the way down to add more darkness and then I've also put a soft grad filter on there pulled down about rightly to, to get a bit of um, contrast in the sky bring, bring the sky down and the uh, highlights in the sky a bit to kind of smooth and balance the image out a bit. So that's about as dark as I'm going to begin it at the moment. It is about three hours before sunset um, so it's quite bright still so I'm not going to be able to get a massively long shutter speed without loading those filters up. I'm shooting quite high in the f-stop as well. I'm shooting at an aperture of f18. It's a bit high really. I'll probably drop that down to f16 a bit later on um, or as it starts getting a bit darker. And the camera at the moment I've got it set up just so I can work out kind of what I have to do to get my shot. So at the moment um, which has messed everything up for some reason. There you go, I've got it to redo the uh, exposure value now. Um, at the moment, I've got it set to an ISO 400. That is giving me 30 seconds and ISO of F18. So all I need to do is if I take that ISO of 400 and half it to 200, that is going to double my exposure time. So by going to an ISO of 200, that now is going to give me a minute exposure time. An ISO of 100 is going to give me two minutes and an ISO of 50 is going to give me four minutes. So once I've got that set up, I'm simply going to put it into um, bold mode. I'm going to put it in an ISO of 50. I'm going to set an aperture of F18 and I'm going to set that exposure off for four minutes. So that's 240 seconds, which I'll look at the back of the camera. I'll come back to you when that's done and see out what image we get. Right, I've taken a few shots down here already. Um, I'm on the third one already now. It's just taken quite a while because they're long exposures. I've pushed all the filters down now. 
So I'm using all the kind of hard bits or the kind of darkened bits of the, the grad filters. Try and get as much on there as I can. I have a feeling it is going to make it a tad soft, which is probably going to be counterintuitive to these type of images. Um, but I'll see how it comes out anyway. Um, probably something I'd need to invest in, something like a 16 stop filter or at least a six stop um, little stop or something like that as well, just to stack on top of that 10 stop if I wanted to do more really long exposures. Or obviously just come back when it's a bit darker and it's not midday is, is probably more likely to do it with a 10 stop easy enough. Um, just to show off the area really, um, this is the, the rock over here which is called the Mew Stone. Um, and we're kind of on the cliff down by um, a place called Kingsweir, which is just the other side of that, this bit of cliff, that bit of headland there. Uh, I've got some friends here as well, ponies following me up here, so they're kind of munching on the grass. And there's lots of boats out today as well, as you can see, but it's not really going to affect my image because they're moving quick enough to um, get out of the way of the, uh, the long exposures. The shot I'm doing now with um, those filters pulled down, it is giving me an eight minute exposure. So it could take ages for that to finish. Hopefully it'll come out sharpish. Um, there's not much wind up here, it shouldn't affect it too much. I just think shooting through all those filters is probably gonna make it a tad soft. I'll drop the f-stop now down to f16 to try and get rid of uh, a bit of that um, diffraction you get if you're on a high f-stop which should make it a bit sharper. And probably what I'll do is I'll try and get around, set up some more shots that are gonna involve uh, the gauze um, in the foreground. And there is a gully down there that I visited on a, a vlog uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, not really a landscape photography vlog, it was a bit of a different one about a phone. So I might get that down there just to see what images I can get, see if uh, any fine art stuff will work down there, any black and white images and stuff like that, long exposures again. I'll wait until this is finished, I'll be waiting for ages, and then uh, I'll get to the next location um, set up. I'll flash these images up from here anyway, so you can see them before the next uh, set, and um, yeah, I'll catch up with you down there in a minute. Right, I've got down to another location now, the um, gully type of thing I was talking about before. Here it is. It's this big kind of, um, I pan you down. It's this big kind of um, split between the rocks. Um, you can go a bit further up the cliff here and look right down it, um, but it's not working that well. I wouldn't have thought it worked that well with the kind of images I'm going for. It's going to be too um, kind of messy, too much stuff in the scene for uh, a fine art image it's meant to be more simple so all I'm doing is I'm picking out the new stone here in the background and I'm just getting a bit of these flowers um, in the bottom here of the scene there you go a bit of this gauze a bit of these um, kind of daisies and pink flowers here I don't know what they are they're not thrift um, just looking out kind of to the new stone really I've brought the um, I'll just check the image yeah, just done now. I'll just stop that. I bought the, some of the settings down and also I'm not shooting with the um, soft grad filters pushed down anymore. That's given me an exposure time of about two minutes now. It's a lot quicker. It's still an ISO F, sorry, so that aperture of F16, which I need on the scene really because um, I'm shooting quite close up to the flowers and I need that high F-stop number to make sure the, the foreground's sharp going down. Uh, it's looking quite nice on the back of the camera before I took the shot. I've not had a look at it since I've taken the shot yet, so um, I'll just see if I can get it to exposure and you can see it. It might not work because the camera's going to be quite low in, on the ground. Um, but that's kind of the scene. If that comes out on the back, I bet it won't. But um, yeah, that's quite nice actually. I'm really preferring that to the scene up there. I wouldn't say it's... I wouldn't say it's a fine art shot here really, it's too much going on in the scene, um, but I kind of like it. But what I'll probably try and do is try and get some slightly different shots set up here, get a few taken, try and get some more in keeping with what we're talking about today. 
and probably put them up. I've only got about probably about another 10 minutes down here. I can get away if I'm going to shoot off then. I've got plans this evening. So, um, yeah, I'm quite happy and quite liking how that one comes out. It'd be a shame to lose the colour in this one. So I'm probably going to do um, maybe one or two colour shots as well, just to try and keep some of those colours in the flowers. And the rest of them will kind of be converted to black and white. So hope you uh, enjoyed the vlog, found it a bit interesting. See what you think, let me know in the comment section if you like any of the images or if you think any of them have worked today, if any of them have been considered as fine art images or not. Um, half the reason I wanted to get down here today as well was to scout out the location because I'm hoping to get down here in a few days time to do a astro shot of the Milky Way because it does line up with this stone here and the shots I was getting up at uh, the top there that's probably a similar composition I'm going to try and do so um, I've kind of scouted out for that now so when I come down it when it's night time or so half 12 or 1 in the morning I'm not going to be kind of wondering where to go um, yeah got these done as well happy of these so um, I'll catch up with you in the future on the next one